This initiative came about um, out of a, uh, a general interest that uh, Cisco and some of our partners had in uh, promoting STEM skills and using the, the Olympics as an inspiration um, for that. So essentially we went out to challenge schools around the UK and imagine that they were putting on the games within their regional city. The winning finalists came into Cisco House to present as if they were putting on an Olympic event. They've planned it down to the finest detail. They've even had the cards, you know, uh, laminated with the Olympic colours. They've done the nails. Every sort of detail of the model has been to scale. So they've put a lot of work to make it accurate. And they've rehearsed it and rehearsed it to make sure that the delivery is really right so that they do quite a slick job. Before we went in, we were all really, really nervous and going over it over and over again. They were really friendly and smiley and like we just had a laugh and told them our stuff. It was good fun. The pupils really came up with the idea themselves. They went out and researched what was missing. Um, they chose a location where there was good links um, to the rest of the country. Um, we don't have anything really in the northwest um, like an Olympic sized pool, so they chose swimming and they really considered sort of the implications of, of, of the legacy on the local area. The price of the third place team will be £500. When they were like reading out the third and the second place, we were all thinking we're not going to get this. So we were like really, really surprised when we did. And the winning team is All Hallows Catholic High School. Everyone was just buzzing after we found out we weren't expecting it. It's like, this is the first competition that I've done in STEM. So it's really, really great to even get into the finals, but to win it's just amazing. I just feel really proud and I think my family can be proud too. The money that we receive as a prize is absolutely fantastic. Certainly what we will hope to do is make sure that we use that money to get more of the pupils involved in STEM projects um, so that they can uh, take part in future competitions and really sort of um, have the kind of positive experience that these pupils have had. I'm really, really excited to go and see the hockey in the Olympics because my family tried to get tickets but we didn't get them. So it's going to be absolutely amazing. It's a once in a lifetime thing. At the moment we're not exactly breaking uh, the track records uh, in encouraging uh, young people to go and uh, further develop their skills in science, technology, engineering and maths uh, and the future of this country and the future of the economy depends on encouraging them and inspiring them to want to go and search out careers within those areas. I felt very very proud of them, they've really represented the school well and they've really given it a lot of thought and tried to cover all aspects of the challenge.